Hey boys and girls, thanks for tuning in to another week of our donut series. My name is Jessica and this week we will be talking about what God tells us about love and marriage. Does anyone remember why God gives us rules? Well, God gives us rules because he loves us and the rules he gives us are meant to protect us and most importantly, protect others. How many of you boys and girls are married? I'm pretty sure you all answered no, but how many of you think you'll be married someday? Chances are that most of us will fall in love and get married someday. So it's important for you to start learning some of the things that God says about marriage now. That way, you can think about these things before you do get married. Right now, who is the most important person in your life? The people who might come to mind are probably parents, grandparents, or maybe even a best friend. Those are the people who love and care for you and the people you depend on. Let's open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 and see what it says about the future. And it reads, That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Boys and girls, this Bible verse is telling us that when we get married, that person that we get married to, our husband or our wife, will be the most important person to us. We'll move out of our parents' house and we'll start our own family and our husband or wife will be the most important person to us. So now let's look at the Bible verse that pertains to this week's commandment. It's taken from Exodus chapter 20, verse 14. It says, you shall not commit adultery. God says, do not commit adultery. This means that when we get married, we can't have any other boyfriends or girlfriends. If you were married, but then you liked somebody else, how do you think that would make your husband or your wife feel? You can't have crushes on or like anybody else. We can only love our husband or our wife in that way. If we like somebody else or have another girlfriend or a boyfriend, that will really hurt our husband or our wife's feelings. And we wouldn't want to do that because we love them. But what happens if someone decides that they don't love their husband or their wife anymore? Can they get divorced and then have other boyfriends or girlfriends? Lots of people do get divorced because they decide they don't love their husband or their wife anymore. But when people get married, they make a promise to stay married forever. God wants us to keep our promises when we get married. In fact, God says that he doesn't like divorce. So what should two people do if they decide that they don't love each other anymore? Well, they should try to work it out. They can talk to counselors. They can learn how not to fight. At the very least, they can learn how to keep living with each other so that they can keep their promise to stay married. Maybe after a little while, they'll start loving each other again if they keep their promise to stay married. So the three things for you to understand about marriage for now is, number one, when you get married, your husband or your wife is the most important person to you except for God. Number two, you are only married to that one person. You can't have any other girlfriends or boyfriends. You love only your husband or your wife in that way. And number three, marriage is forever. So you have to learn to work out any problems you have with your husband or your wife. This week's commandment is do not commit adultery. And this week's donut is a glazed donut. Marriage is supposed to be sweet. The glaze on the donut represents the goodness that comes from marriage and a seal of commitment or the promise that you make when you decide to get married. Boys and girls, marriage is important. When you get married, you are making a promise to God and to your husband or your wife. Promises are important and when you make them, you should always try to keep them. Let's close in prayer. Father God, thank you for giving us the idea of marriage. As we get older, help us to always remember that marriage is to one person who will be the most important person to us and who we need to keep our promises to. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for tuning in to today's lesson. Until next time, take care.